guys, Jamie Lee here. Um, we have been asked a lot via our customer service how to use the powder from our Feed Your Flock pellets. So I want us to do a video on it to just really explain it, um, mostly to take the pressure off our customer service so they can just send you this video. Um, we often say that because our pellets are cold pressed, they're really soft. So they're great for all species of parrots from like budgies all the way to macaws. Um, this is because they break down really, really easily. <laughs> so I have Bondi and Cressy with me right now. I was like wondering how this is gonna work out with two birds, but we'll see. Um, so anyways, they break really, really easily. So if you have a small bird like a budgie or a cockatiel, you can just take the bag and shake it really hard or you can put a few pellets in something and just shake them up and they will crumble and like break into smaller pieces, making it easier for your bird to consume. <clears throat> However, at their largest, they are okay for birds. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you, but then I'm gonna have to give it to these guys and you're gonna see how they powder. Like they, they basically turn into powder and as the birds eat them, you'll see a powder residue. Now, this is okay to reuse if when you give your bird the pellets, you give them in a clean dish, it only has the pellets go in, and then the bird doesn't mix it with anything. So for instance, Cressy is like a major soup, I call it like glop maker. She mixes equal parts of pellets with water, and she does it with every dish. So not only is her water dish glop, but her pellet dishes are glop too. Obviously you can't reuse that. If the pellet powder gets wet in any way, damp, um, has little chunky bits of like fresh food that you gave earlier in the day or just anything um you know poop <laughs> if it has anything besides just nice fresh powder you cannot reuse it yep did you get me or no oh, actually didn't get on me that's amazing good job bondi um so anyways, just make sure that the pellet powder is like completely clean. All it is is just pellet powder. Then you can reuse it, but please don't reuse it past three days. Um, we prefer to tell people to use it in like birdie bread recipes or any sort of recipe where it's going to be heated. Um, you can also use it in like the fresh food. So if you serve a bird tricks diet in the morning, um, say you did the PM feeding of the pellets, you go there in the morning and there's like a little bit of powder, you can use that and mix it with the um, the fresh mix of their food that day. So, hey Cressy. Um, so that's another option, but we prefer the cooked meals just because that's what we like to do. But overall, like don't, don't think about reusing food. We wanna make sure that this is really clean stuff. Also, those of you that have excess powder, um, somebody wrote in and said that they have like gallon bags of it. If you're getting that much powder use from this, I think you're overfeeding pellets. That's the only time that these guys produce powder. Otherwise, I mean, glop here is an exception. But everybody else, um, they don't produce any powder. It's just gone. So I think you need to maybe <laughs> count out the pellets. I know that at one time we counted with Cressy, and it's like she eats, I think, 11 or 12 pellets. So it's less than you think. Most people way overfeed. Um, so try feeding a lot less and just count them out and maybe do 10 and then add five or something and just see where it gets to the point where you start producing the powder because it's not necessary. Okay, I'm gonna show you the different sizes of these pellets. I'm sure these birds are gonna go crazy because they really want them. So at their largest, they're this long. Cressy's like, yeah, that one's mine. Um, and I just put some of these in here. At their smallest, ooh, they're like that big. It's tiny. Um, they just break naturally. Oh, thank you, Cressy. They just break naturally. There's some, okay, you too? Yeah, they break naturally. So you can see the crumbs and the powder. I actually have better, sorry. These guys are on one foot now, so I can't move too much without getting them off balance. Here is powder. Thank you guys so much. You're the best birdie models ever. <laughs> Bondi. So, um, I'm pet sitting this weekend and my parents, <laughs> our dog is over here and the dog is wanting to eat the crumbs of these pellets. So good thing it's all good stuff. Anyway, that's why Bondi just got all flared because <laughs> he came over and laid right underneath us to be able to get this stuff. So literally count out your pellets. Don't overfeed. We don't want fat birds. Um, 
and it's not necessary to give them more than they can eat, right? Because then they're just making a mess. Oh, that's funny. Cressy's favorite thing ever is pens. She's like, I'll oh, skip dinner. I want pens. Um, so yeah, just basic rule of thumb. Um, one thing that you can do to make it so that you can reuse your powder is to put the water dish far away from the pellet dish. That way that they can't just like transfer it real easy like this little messer tin does. Um, she finds a way, so if your bird is a soup maker, sorry, this just isn't gonna work for you reusing powder. It just doesn't. Um, and you can also, of course, use like the normal pellets in your recipes as well. But this is a great way to reuse the powder if you do have access. But again, if you have access, I think, I think you're overfeeding. So please try to not overfeed so that your birds are healthy, you're not wasting food, um, your bag will go a lot further, and so on and so forth. Um, these are the side of my, size of my bird's dishes, but the pellets in there are very few. So... I mean, for one bird, one of our birds, I probably give this much. And most people are talking about like a quarter cup and stuff. That's not happening. That's like, I could count the pellets. I think there's maybe 15. So, and again, these vary by size. You saw how big and small they can be. If you have the smaller birds, you can break them smaller. They break super easy. Just with one hand, I was able to just break this into smaller pieces. Um, so yeah, they break super, super easy. Actually, maybe Cressy will show you what some powder can look like right now. You wanna show? You don't like to eat at the same time as her, huh? Okay, we won't do it. But yeah, here's Cressy. Well, headless Cressy, so. As you can see, there is some powder. Cressy mixes it with water. And most of the other birds actually eat the powder. That powder is obviously edible by itself. You wanna try? You want me to get you one? <laughs> so yeah, I hope this video helps you guys use your powder. Sorry, I get really distracted when I have cute little feathery things around. <laughs>